Good morning, muscle. Mr. Fallon and Hey, it's Friday. On today's episode of Good Morning Muscle, we're going to learn how to do an overhead smash of badness. Let's see how far we can smash our birdie across the gym or outside. It's going to be a lot of fun. Get up and move it. Today, Mr. Fallon is going to be reading Sports, 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 a poetry collected, collection selected by Lee Bennett Hopkins. While Mr. Fallon reads this, you are going to do your favorite exercise at home. You can even switch your favorite exercise. What's Mr. Fallon's favorite exercise? It's the spot run, of course. So I'm going to be doing the spot run. You can do whatever exercise you like to do best at home. Sports, 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 a poetry collection. Mr. Fallon got this from the library here at Eastview. I couldn't wait to read this. All right. The first one, the first poem is called Fly Balls. And the boy is playing, it looks like baseball or softball. I am like a spider, so it's fly balls that I love. For I catch them when they're buzzing in the webbing of my glove. Oh, we have another baseball or softball poem. Do you play baseball or softball? This one's called Outfielder. Batters up, not a sound. Knees bent, glove to the ground. Face to the crowd, back to the sun. Hopping to stop, just one home run. Our next one's called Play ball. What exercise are you doing at home right now? It was my turn to bat, and I hit the ball so hard it sailed right over the wall. The crowd went wild. I started to run. How happy I'd be if my team won. First base. Second, third, I'm home free. Hooray for my team. Hooray for me. Oh, here's one about um, running and track and field. This one's called Fast Track. When the whistle blows, I'm ready and set. And no one can tell me I'm to anything or less than enough. I am a tornado of legs and feet and warm wind whipping past everyone else on the track. And all that's on my mind is scissoring through the finishing line. All right, let's do one more poem. It's another running one. This poem's called, I'm Running. I'm running, I'm running, with wind in my face, and wings on my heels, to win first place, or maybe second, even third if I try, because everyone's running faster than I. But I'll keep on going, and take it in stride. If I lose, so what? At least 
I tried. What exercises did you do? Those poems were pretty cool. I can't wait to read some more next time. from the Dollar Tree. We also worked on making our own rackets and birdies on Monday and Tuesday's episodes. Today we're going to learn how to do an overhead match. This is a tricky skill. To do this, let's just go ahead and take our racket and you don't need your birdie. We're going to practice doing this without our birdie first. To do it, you're going to take your imaginary birdie, hold it in one hand, Take your racket, hold it in the other, and you're going to toss your birdie in the air, take a step, and hit it above your head, pretending there was a fly up there that you were trying to swap. Let's try that again. Let's take our imaginary birdie, hold it in our hand, toss it up, step, and smash it. Try it one more time. Toss our birdie, step, and smash. Alright, now we're ready to try it with our birdie. Let's start off with the first time. Mr. Fallon's going to use his real birdie, his real racket. I'm going to take my birdie, hold it by my waist, and I'm going to really try to watch my birdie, and I'm going to try to smash it when it's up in the air. It's going to be tough. Here's my birdie. Toss it, step, and smash it. Wow, it went so far. Now Mr. Fallon's going to try with a paper ball and the racket he made. Hold by my waist. Step, toss, and smash it. That went really far too. Now I'm going to try it with the racket we made and the birdie we made. Toss it up nice and high. Step, and smash it. How were your overhead smashes? Now, what Mr. Fallon's going to do, is I'm going to go get all three of my birdies, and I'm going to see which one I can overhead smash the farthest. Give me one second. All right. I have all three of my birdies. I'm going to use this racket, and I'm going to try to smash them as far as I can that way. Which one do you think is going to go the farthest? The paper ball? The birdie we made on Tuesday? Or the birdie Mr. Fallon got at the Dollar Tree? We're going to find out. I'm going to start off using the paper ball. I try to overhead smash it as far as I can over there. So I'm going to hold my ball down, toss it, step, and smash. Oh, that went pretty far. I don't know if I can beat it. Now, I'm going to try the birdie that we made on Tuesday. Hold it in my waist. Toss it. Step and smash. Oh, wow. That went almost all the way over to the wall. And finally, we're going to try the birdie I got at the Dollar Tree. Toss it up. Step and smash. Oh, wow. The one that went the farthest is the birdie we made on Tuesday. I'm going to go pick those back up. I'm going to try it again and see with which one goes the farthest when I practice with the racket we made on Monday. You give it a try. See which one goes the farthest for you. Good morning, muscles. Boys and girls, badminton is such a fun game, and we didn't even get to the part where somebody else plays badminton with me, and we try to hit the birdie back and forth. Maybe you could try that this weekend. Badminton's such a great sport. Make your racket, make a birdie, 
play it with somebody else, get outside, have a lot of fun, keep getting stronger. Be back here on Monday for some brand new action and excitement on Good Morning Muscles. We'll see you then. Have an awesome weekend. Muscles! Oh, we need the money. Oh, we need the money. Oh, we need the money. Oh, we need the money.